Evernote has been around for 14 years, making it the oldest proper note-taking app. Still, it has a lot of dedicated fans and users. I've been using Evernote for a couple of weeks now and think it's very good. And at the end, we'll see if Evernote is still the king of note-taking apps. Evernote strives to be the ultimate library for everything you own. You can create notes on the fly, record your own voice, upload PDFs, send email using a special email address, save website very easily using a web clipper or even on your phone too. So there are many ways to get into Evernote, which is its core strength. And when it comes to search, Evernote is the best app I've ever found for this. You can type any keyword and Evernote will immediately show up the notes related to them. If you're using premium, you can also search within the PDF, which is very useful if you have a lot of these for your own research. Other than that, you can favorite notes you look after again and again. You can create folders and the recently viewed notes shows up on the top. And while it does not have the linking capabilities, like for instance from Research, Obsidian, or even Mem.ai, or even Notion for that matter, you can still copy each page link and add it to another page just fine. Now in terms of how easy it is to write and format an Evernote, that's what Evernote truly excels. You can do anything that phrases bolding, italics, underlines, strike through, lots of highlights, whatever. It's perfectly suitable for edit the notes. And you can also work offline with your devices inside the syncing capabilities. You're not required to have an internet connection all the time, which can make note taking very beneficial, especially when you're on travel, etc. And this is something I've never seen in a note taking app before, but this ability to draw whatever you want is very cool. Many people prefer more to draw ideas, mind maps, or other visual elements over just typing or creating bullet points. So if you have a person or have a drawing pad like wherever you go, Evernote would be amazing for you. And as I said before, Evernote has been around so long that every automation app that's come out has integrated with it. From IFTTT, Zapier, Make.com, etc. You're able to do many cool things with it. From automatically input your Kindle highlights, sync your calendar and more. So these were the major benefits of Evernote. It's overall very good at what it does. It's a very practical app, which is why I like it. But here comes the drawback. Most of its cool features, like for instance, search within PDFs, templates, or even such basic as syncing across multiple devices, more than two, by the way, requires a subscription over $5 a month. Although it doesn't seem too much, consider that there are free alternatives that do exactly what Evernote do. So it doesn't really have its own straight, other than sketches, of course. We can talk Notion, we can talk Mem, we can talk Obsidian, or even Apple Notes for that matter. So you need to sort of justify your relationship with Evernote while you want to pay just to use it a little bit more if you think it's worth paying and having multiple devices. So in conclusion, Evernote is extremely solid. It does everything you want from a note-taking app with reliability and speed. But although it perfectly fulfills the criteria, you still need a premium version if you have multiple devices. For instance, if you have two or more phones or several computers lying around. In this case, if you do not want to pay, there are free alternatives like Notion and Mem, but if you still feel that Evernote is a perfect fit for you, as for many people, just go for it. The most practical note-taking app there is, which is probably the reason why it's still around.